guys. I did a little online shopping at Kaleidoscope. My name's Fawn and this is my channel. I do hauls, unboxings, um, reviews, reviews, chats. Um, occasionally I attempt to get ready with me. Anyway, <laughs> if you like having a bit of a laugh and coming to a place where it's a happy place, then please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave me a comment. I don't very often shop at Kaleidoscope but I kept getting those targeted ads of the sale and I was a bit bored the other day I couldn't sleep it is a nighttime one um, and I decided to order some things now what I can't remember is whether I decided to order them in the size that I am right now which is more of an 18 or whether I went for a 16 so I'm gonna it's gonna be a surprise for me as much as for you and if it is a 16 this is gonna be about what I think of the item rather than how well it fits so let's go First up, and I do remember this, this was why I did an order. It's a green, oh gosh, it's gonna look terrible on camera, I expect. Hopefully it doesn't look terrible on me. It's a green jacket, like a cargo jacket. Um, it's really, really simple, but it's lightweight. Pop us down the front. It's got those um, funny stretchy toggly things to give it a bit of shape and some pockets. But it's mega lightweight, and I thought it would um be good for me on those days when it's you know you just want something to cut the wind because i do run hot so you just want something that just you know stops that wind from going through you rather than around you it's got a sort of um not waxed but you know a, a funny feeling inside funny feeling inside that's so techy isn't it but i quite liked it it's got little epaulets on the shoulders um and more exciting was that it cost 27 pounds and it was reduced down i don't remember the i'm sorry guys but i got a feeling it was a 50 percent sale so it was 27 pounds and i thought worth the go and it's a good color for me with my hair then i picked up this beautiful pink top now i don't wear colors like this this is really outside the box for me but it was five pounds it's just a t-shirt it's beautifully soft but what i liked is this it's got a v-neck and it's got this um tortoiseshell ring detailing at five pounds i thought that was really good i don't know whether it'll suit me the color because i don't wear this color but i thought i'm gonna give it a go probably wear it far more in the summer than i would or spring summer than i would in the winter but it would be a shame to miss out on it i picked up another jacket jackets are on my brain at the moment i thought this was cute look it's got braiding on the sleeves braiding down the front there's no buttons it's just a you know like a boxy jacket it's a kind of a cotton and then on the bottom can you see i want you to see it's got the same braid but then it's got little white pom-poms again i think i was thinking more spring than now but i just thought it looked really lovely it does have pockets and i'll check from the other side they are real pockets i think yes they're sewn shut at the moment but they are real pockets so um yeah i just looked at it i thought with jeans and a, and a white t-shirt this could be a great outfit and this was 19 pounds which again you know you've got to try at 19 pounds and it is 98 percent cotton two percent elastic i love anything that's breathable and cotton is great then I picked up some green cargo pants. Now, you know I have terrible trouble with pants. And to be fair, or trousers, I am overflowing with tops. So it, a top has got to be nice for me to want to um, add it in. Or it's got to be incredibly cheap where I just think that's such a bargain. I've got to give it a go. But pants I have trouble with. So these are cargo pants, which might work. Who knows? They're plain green. Uh, oops. Very simple got pockets on the side pockets on the back which i don't think are real no they're not real they're just for decoration on the back um but they're the nice you know can you see the pockets they're those sewn square ones to give it a bit of a cargo feel but they're not they're not cargo with big pockets on the knees and pockets on the hips so i thought they could be possibly a good purchase for me they are quite lightweight um i would say they're a cotton i'll have a look oh i stuck 
the glasses at me. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, 98% um, cotton, 2% elastane, like that jacket. And these were £15. So I loved them and I thought, you know, I could roll them up at the bottom. I could do quite a lot of things with these. Next up, purple. It's a purple print, leopard print dress. Now it's got a, thank goodness, it's got a um, sort of petticoat slip, you know, that you wear underneath for your dignity. It's actually quite a pretty colour, that. Look at that. <laughs> um, and the dress itself is in a chiffon. Oops. I just pull that up. I thought it might be nice because obviously you're going to have you know a little bit of a see-through thing going on uh, long sleeves with elastic the waist is also elasticated how nice is that and then the bottom of it is just flowing in this you know I thought that was pretty I don't think it's too loud and I think with black boots and a black jacket that could look really quite you know something um, and this was 19 pounds and then last but not least this is where I think tiredness set in, delirium possibly, because for some reason I thought I could wear this and I just, obviously I will try it on and maybe I'll be wowed, but I bought a jumpsuit. It's got navy trousers with pockets. It's in a lovely stretchy jersey and then it's got this pretty top, navy and pink, short sleeve, they're split sleeves, um, I thought it was really, really pretty. Of course, it looked amazing on the model, doesn't it always? I think it was a really good price, as I remember it. Hell of a reduction. Maybe because it looks dreadful on everybody, and I'm going to find out. But this was reduced to £22. Oh, I just thought it was so nice. I don't know whether it's too nice to wear as a daily kind of thing, but maybe with trainers, you know, white trainers and a denim jacket, it might work. So, yeah, that's the last piece, but... um. I'm a bit scared about that one, ladies. So here we go. Let's do a try on. Okay, these are fabulous. But I've got a feeling that they don't suit me. I'll know better when I look back at the footage. Oh, <laughs> hello, Ethel. Um, <laughs> she was hiding behind some of the bedding and did the whole swipe, swipe, pounce thing. All right, yes, I'll let you out. I think the fit around the bum is not too bad, but possibly a bit big. Now that's my fault because these are an 18. Um, and even though my waist is, is thicker with, with the weight I've gained, this bit hasn't gained. But combats are meant to be loose, so I'm not sure. Now I've left one of them as they sent it, which I think is awful. It's not quite long enough if it's meant to be a full length trouser and it's a bit on the square side. But I rolled this one, just two turns, and I liked it much, much better. As you know, I love a good pocket, and they have good pockets. They feel quality. They really do feel like a quality pair of trousers. Um, and as I say, and as I say, the door's opening, that's I thought. As I say, 98% cotton, 2% elastane, I think it was, which makes them, you know, really hard wearing and good trousers. I'd love to see what they looked like washed and not so sort of stiff and crunchy. But um, the jury's out on these, but for £15, by golly, they're comfy. They would be great. And if I don't like them for going out and about, thinking about it, it would be fabulous gardening trousers. Okay, the jury's out on this. So this is the jacket. I'll come in so you can see, you know, it's just round necked, then it's got this braiding, which it also has on the sleeves, and then the bottom has the same braiding, but this little pom-pom thing. It fits, I think it's an 18, I will double check. I think it's an 18, this is sort of how I visualized it, um, but I think now that the leopard print is a mistake with this, I think it would have to be, you know, a either a plain white or a white, but just with a different design. I think the leopard clashes, it's just too much. I don't know whether it looks too twee, but I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, it could look really pretty over a summer dress. So the jury is out at the moment, so I'll do a full turn. 
And I think I'm going to try it again with a dress a little bit later on and see if that sort of helps me come to a yay or nay. But it is lovely, ladies. It is really nice. I mean, the pockets are sewn shut, but, you know, having pockets there as well. I do like that. It's very spring to me. It's another one that the jury's out on. I just don't know. I like it. I discovered that the sleeves are meant to be worn rolled up and then, you know, tabbed. I did think the sleeves were funny. When I put my arms in, I was like, why are they so huge? Because they were so wide, sort of that way. Um, I have gathered it in, which I feel a bit bad about in case I don't want it. But I mean, it was just like a big, huge box. Um, I like all the detailing. You know, I like the poppers here. If I turn around, I haven't gathered it properly yet. But you can see it's starting to sort of come in a little bit. So it gives you a tiny bit of shape. It is a great spring. Chuck it on, going out to do the animals. It's got pockets, which I do love. Um, there's no zip, it's just poppers. Um, so I'll just, if I just do a couple, so you can get the feel for it. I don't know which couple to do, but <laughs> so if I do those maybe, so you can get a feel for it. I mean, I think I like it, but it's very different for me. Um, so that always makes me hesitate a bit. But to stop the wind, you know, you know some days, they, they call it, don't they call it a lazy wind? It can't be bothered to go around you, it decides to go through you. I think this could be good. But again, <laughs> I've got to hear from you guys and I've got to watch the footage back. But I think I like it. Okay, hot pink, anybody? I think I like it. I'm not sure. <laughs> <gasps> this is the most dithery video I think I've ever done. I'm not sure. It's lovely. It's really, really soft. I like the V. I like this just little bit of tortoiseshell here. Um, it is mega clingy material. Of course it is. And I have a mega bumpy body. But I will do it. I'll show you the unvarnished truth. <laughs> You'll always get that here, the unvarnished truth. Most of it's I'm rubbish at varnishing. So, but I think for five pounds, am I right or am I crazy? I think for five pounds, this could work into spring, summer wardrobe really, really well and just be a comfortable thing to wear. I mean, it is quite long, not that I'm wearing it long. Well, I just, I think I might flash my belly. Sorry, guys. <gasps> hope you're not eating this. Over. I hope you're not watching this while you're eating breakfast, was what I was trying to say. Um, but yeah, I think for a fiver, I think this is a definite, it may as well stay. And it's a real departure. This is going to look weird in my wardrobe because, you know, there's so much other colours, but no hot pink. I think this one might be a total bust. And I'm disappointed because I can still see what I thought might, might be good about it. I like the under layer. It's lovely and long. There's no worrying about, you know. Um, and I still like the design the, the pattern on it. Love the purple, great price. What was it? It was about 19 pounds, wasn't it, guys? Um, but I thought that this part would be more see-through than it is, so that it wouldn't look so unrelieved. <sighs> I don't know. I really... <laughs> That's going to have to be my new catchphrase or ch channel name. Fawn doesn't know. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm being cray cray with this one. I'll turn around. I feel like it should be, you know, four sizes bigger, sort of over large in the top. This is an 18. Um, this is where I have my problem. <laughs> and as you can see, I am filling it in the boobage department. But weight is coming off. So I wonder also if it's a little too high-waisted for me. Um, ooh. Let's try that green jacket on. I know the colours won't be right, but I want to see what it... Oh, will I put the green one on? Yeah, I'll put the green one on because I don't think I've got a black one up here. <laughs> yeah, because it would be black in an ideal world. Um, just to see whether it changes my view when I'm not just looking at this expanse of, of purple leopard. I found this one. <laughs> And how to break a girl's heart, because this was so huge on me for a while, and now it fits me perfectly. Pfft. I mean, it is an 18, to be fair. But it was big on me for a bit there. Oh, I've 
myself down. Anyway, I actually can still see it. Black boots, I, I'm gonna to have to watch you back, I'm gonna to have to take your advice. I really need help because I'm terribly tempted by this, but this is the sort of thing that, um, you know, sometimes you buy something like this thinking you look the bomb and then a friend gently whispers to you that you actually look like a, well, a fool, frankly. So this is one of those. So, um, yeah, take the jacket back off. I tried the green one with it. God, it looked funny. Um, <laughs> so that's the purple dress. You know what I'm going to do now, don't you? The jumpsuit. <gasps> I can see now why this was in the sale, and it's an amazing price. Who wears their trousers up here? Look at that. It's like high-waisted madness. It's actually quite a pretty jumpsuit. If that was down here, and so, you know, some of the trousers taken up, it would look quite nice, but that's where it wears. That's, you know, that's where it's meant to go. Oh, it's got pockets. I love a pocket. Um, it's got a V on the back. It has the slit sleeves. And I think the colours are pretty, but who wears the trousers up there? Well, apart from Simon Cowell, who of course specialises in trousers that are up there. I feel... <laughs> oh my God. This is so bad that it's almost good. <laughs> Anyway, here we go. Here we go. Feast your eyes on this. Feast your eyes. It, I will never be seen in it again. Let's put it that way. But who the hell designed it like that? If I pull it, I'm going to pull it. I'm going to really pull it, which you shouldn't. I know. I'm sorry, everybody. Anyone watching? Oh, but then the crotch hangs down. <laughs> I pulled it down so it's more where I think it should be. It's now I can feel it pulling here. And I've got quite a chunk of um, spare fabric there. So no, it's never going to work for me. And this one, I don't need your help. <laughs> Even I can see that this one has to go back. As promised, here's the green jacket with a summer dress um, of mine. I think maybe it works. I don't know if I'm trying to convince myself or whether I really do think it works. But then... If it only works for the summer dress, I tend not to wear jackets in the summer. Oh gosh, maybe, do you know what? Maybe with white jeans. This could look really good with white or cream jeans or red ones or, oh, am I trying too hard to convince myself? Or am I seeing something that is genuinely there? I just haven't quite styled it right yet. Help me out, ladies. So there we go, that was my kaleidoscope try on. So many I don't knows. I'm not gonna bother going back through them, but I thought I'd refresh you on the prices because they are amazing. And just because something maybe doesn't look right on me, might look good on you. So the cargo khaki trousers were 15 pounds. The ring pink t-shirt was five. The jumpsuit, which I don't know who that's gonna fit to be frank, was 22 and we know it was going back. The green, um utility jacket they called it the outdoor one for the wind for the wind that was 27 pounds the purple animal print dress was 1950 and the green pom-pom trim jacket was 19 pounds so as you can see they were all total bargains but just because it's a bargain doesn't mean i should keep it i forget i've got them on i peer over the top of them round the side of them honest to god so <laughs> Anyway, they were good prices, and there was nothing there that I thought, ooh, the quality on this is shocking. Some design issues maybe, but I was quite thrilled to find cottons and things like that. So I'm gonna go and look at this while I'm editing it for you guys, and then I'm gonna get your votes too, because yeah, there are just too many things. I'm, I'm not sure, I'm lacking a bit of confidence at the moment, ladies. And don't say nice things just for the sake of saying nice things. Don't try and boost my confidence, be honest. Get it out there. Oh my God, girl, you look like a stunning in a ditch. That was one of my father's favorite ones because he hated any skirt that was longer than your knee. So <laughs> if you wore a long one, it was all, oh my God, girl, you look like a stunning in a ditch. So <laughs> don't be afraid. <laughs> I won't be upset, I promise. Okay, bye guys.